glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector? That's probably smart. Ah, uh, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I like the Tempest, but I'm not sure I'd travel between galaxies for her. The Unknown Frontier had its charms, too. It's just strange not having the rest of the design team. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Solarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Solarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the arc back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Solarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find the others. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. It's dangerous. And that's all I see. I can appreciate the colors of a coral snake while recognizing that I wouldn't want to get close. Helios is incredible, isn't it? Just all of it, so alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. You mean, a god? Yes, I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something greater than myself. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine intelligence. And most of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the Remnant was too. Why should that be proof against a god? Wouldn't a true creator want to pass on the drive to invent? You are welcome to your beliefs. It's good to have different voices on the team. Excellent. Oh, speaking of the team, I should update the folks back in the Nexus with the latest reports. We'll talk later. You're setting up in here, huh? Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice out of the way place where I can tinker and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home, while I'm with you, at least. Should I consider you a temporary addition? Everything's temporary, Ryder. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, right? Something like that? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana, to simple but loving parents, just trying to... I look forward, not back, Ryder. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field, while we're uncovering the mysteries of this galaxy. That's why I'm here. Got tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. <gasps> Did I say that out loud? Life won't be boring with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Ryder, the Milky Way was so... been there, done that. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. For the never been done. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Buy me a drink sometime. Who knows what will spill out of my mouth. 
Then again, I need remnant scrap. Remtech, I call it. For projects like the one I mentioned, which you're gonna love, by the by. Promise to bring me what you scrounge, and I'll submit to all your questions. Remtech, huh? You got it. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Just a friend. Now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements, don't you think? I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. I'm picking up something. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Your territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. I'm picking up something. Pathfinder, is it true? We're settling Eos. We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. They've got a Pathfinder again. This is what we do. And you've done it splendidly. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieved with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Impossible. But with new scientific talent waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. The whole Nexus will benefit. August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new mayor. Bradley? I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. Should I apply for an outpost? Don't. 
Don't shove the crate off that. I can do. You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Pathfinder. How has the Nexus reacted to the foothold I've established? We send them where you signal, because that's where the need is. There's no time for preference. Director. Hello, Pathfinder. I am Cryo Deployment Administrator Vladimir Breka, C-63 Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Whoa, that seems like... too much. Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? All right, Brekka. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shape. That's the console for our strike teams. What are they? Assault and extraction squads. When we need the best, I have Apex. Since you have a front row view of the cluster, I can give you authority to dispatch them. I'll deploy your people carefully, Kandros. Appreciate that, Ryder. But trust me, Apex can handle themselves. Authorization complete. Good luck out there.
leaders reporting back. Hello, Pathfinder. Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. Due respect, Director Tan. But you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. But it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Right. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Med Bay. Will do. A reminder, you have AVP outstanding. Right. Have to talk to Addison's assistant about viability perks. Sounds useful. find anything to help my case? An enemy blast to the back killed the chief. Your shot missed. What? You, you're kidding me. Thank the spirits. This is great. Hold on there. The chief's Omni-Tool recorded you over the body. Sam playback. Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. 
I'm not dying on this rock. Shit. Not only did you think you killed him, you meant to. But you just said I didn't, so it doesn't matter, right? The conviction will have to be overturned. The sentence thrown out. Director Tan will determine what's to be done. You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now. It's like nothing we've ever seen. Not sure yet, but at least we're on the trail. Did you have some other business? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability. And we're setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. I hear you. It sucks when things aren't black and white. Are they ever? <sighs> if we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands, then covered it up. Your investigation complicated this. You should take responsibility for the outcome. Do we still exile him for murder? It was crazy down there, life and death. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope we don't regret it. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos. But he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. Ryder, isn't it? Kerry Tavessa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. Nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so that's what I need. The truth, I mean. Someone needs to record the history we're making. It takes integrity to record the truth and nothing but. Well, I do my best. And you could help me out. The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. I want the dirt and blood of our story, not the convenient fairy tale Tan's looking for. Interested? You don't mind treading on the initiative director's toes? What would he do? Pull funding we don't have? I'm game if you are. Okay. Interview away. Let's start at home. Fourteen months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? We still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges and how we're going to face them. Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. This was more fun than I expected. You were great. I'll get to work editing.
fallout from the recent uprising as security tightens across all sectors on the Nexus. Director Tan stresses that it's, quote, for your safety. This is HNS. Pathfinder Rider, if you will. Hello, Pathfinder. A moment? What can I do for you, Doctor? I have a math problem. Some vital equations that only a mind like Sam's could solve. They concern strange transmission patterns in the Scourge. Perhaps random noise, perhaps not. Sam likes new experiences. It'll be an opportunity to encounter math homework. Given the complexity and the security implications, I recommend transferring the equations directly into SAM node. I have them on an optical storage disk for you. I'll see if I have time. Thank you, Pathfinder. Please thank SAM as well. on the Nexus, visitors herald the Vortex as a sign of civility, and the opposite of civility, as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is HNS. Welcome back, Ryder. Dr. Aradana at the tech lab sent some equations for you to solve. I'm ready. Transferring them now. Have fun. Hey, what the? Sam! Remember the code detected. Please stand by. Sam? Detecting to come from on Melissa's code. Please stand by. Is there anything I can do? Sam? Is that another malfunction or. Sam, you trying to show me something? Okay, I think I got it. Sam, talk to me! Hello, Pathfinder. Please initialize the console to restore normal operations. Sam, what happened? The equations contained a Trojan horse program, a virus, specifically targeted to sever our connection and render me helpless. Reconnecting would be impossible. 
You'd need a crack AI programmer to create a virus like that. Yes. Only my unique adaptions prevented permanent damage. Unlock the door. Let's head to the tech lab and see what Dr. Aradana has to say. Start building a bank of vaccines once we get more biomaterial. Welcome, Pathfinder. Did Sam solve the equations I sent? Solve them? They almost brought down Sam Node. The equations contained a virus designed to target artificial intelligence. You think I. Never. I abhor violence against any life, organic or synthetic. Then how did the virus find its way into your equations? Perhaps my files were altered or replaced, but why? Hmm, I've seen a lot of down with AI sentiment lately. Graffiti, complaints to ten, perhaps someone took the next step. Everything's uncertain. Maybe they just want to feel safer. Attacking Sam is bold, though. I wonder if there have been similar incidents. The AI kiosk was busted this morning. I can look around. Pathfinder Rider, if you will. 